I love juggling. I do it like I'm breathing, and that does not mean I'm particularly good at it. It just means it's part of the rhythm of my existence. You know, truth be told, I learned how to do this during kind of a tough time in my life. I needed something not to escape to, but, but that would, you know, just kind of occupy me a little bit. Give me a, give me a break from all the stuff I, my brain was heating up on so I could cool off and then come back to it. And along the way, I, I changed and my whole life got amazing. I, I became a performer, I, I got to be a part of this. It, it got to be really, really strange. I was, I was reading about my little, my little obsession and I read that Oxford University did a study on what happens to your brain when you juggle. And I know there are some serious nerds in this room, right? This was the coolest stuff I ever heard. They took 10 people who didn't know how to juggle. They, they, I guess they popped their heads open and scanned their brains. I'm not a scientist, I'm a clown. And they, they, they said, okay, we know what your brain looks like. And then they taught them how to juggle. A little bit at a time, they got pretty good at it. And then they popped their heads open again and they, they scanned their brains again. And they grew between two and 5% more brain matter just from learning to do this. It's true. Now, I don't know, I, I don't know about you, but I, I need all the help I can get because I've used a fair amount of mine up over the years. <laughs> Rules notwithstanding. And the thing is, I had this realization that left me really unsettled. I realized, okay, so between two and 5% of my brain is now tied up doing this while I'm doing this. And when I stop, I still have that brain power. And what if that was the new neural connections that let me make the new patterns that helped me figure out how to unsuck my life? That I got smarter, and because I juggled, I unsucked my life was an amazing thought. It's transformation, plain and simple. It's a simple version of it. You throw some things in the air, you catch them, you get some new ideas, yay for me. There was a part of the study that became the ultimate motivation for me to continue chasing my passions. And that was this. If you stop the skill, if you stop the skill, you lose the brain matter. And the thought I had was, what if that two to 5% was actually me? and everything else was just leading up to me being able to finally be me. Every performer you see tonight, every single one of them has gone through so much work, big trials and little ones, to come up on the stage and show you who they are and who they can be. I hope you'll take the time to applaud for them, but more than that, I hope you'll join them on this journey here at the open stage. Welcome.